Hello, welcome back. Continuing on with the uh, commercial maneuvers. Uh, last time we did some Lazy 8s, today we're going to take a look at some Chandelles. So we'll uh, get set up for those maneuvers. Run through a couple and then uh, pull the data when we get home, take a look and see, see how those compare to the commercial standards and what we need to work on for the next time. Here we go. So we are in, uh, within VA still. I'm flying light today, so we'll lower the book. Mixture pull, props are full, column flaps are open. So, go into our 30 degree. Check the power on. About 23. That pitch come up. About 17, 18. Hold that pitch. So we are coming through 90. So keep that pitch in and airspeed leads off at 70. Roll out that pitch in. They're rolling out on our heading. There's 58. More runners. That come off as we uh, pull off at 3,700. Nose comes down. That altitude. That airspeed build, runner comes out. Pulling 30 degrees. Bring that pitch in, bring that power in. Oh, pitch comes up, compass right about at the horizon. Verbal today. At 90 degrees. A roll starts coming out. Come back around, so there's 70, 68, 66, 65. Starting to work. 857, there's our stall horn. Right at 4300. Oh, let that nose drop. The altitude. Need coming back up for where we want her. Pitch up. But they're 90, so keep that pitch in, airspeed coming down. More right rudder. More right rudder. There we are, rolling out. Is our stall horn just chirping? 4980. 5000, so let her. Clear out. That altitude, don't let the nose drop. Airspeed slowly building. Air rudder coming out. on the ground. Uh, we've got our data pulled down, so time to take a look. Uh, before we do, just a quick peek at the commercial ACS standards. Um, Chandelles in general, um, they're looking at a, their performance maneuver basically for a given configuration and power setting, how to maximize that performance for that 180 degree climbing turn, um, and as you do, keeping the plane coordinated. Um, a couple of quick nuggets. Um, basically, um, starting no lower than 1,500 feet AGL, um, just from an altitude perspective. Um, establish an appropriate entry configuration power and airspeed. 
I've got a H35 with the 470, so the, the smaller power plant out of the Bonanzas. Um, for that airframe, it seems to work pretty good to start at 16 or 17 inches. That gets you into a pretty comfortable VA, depending on your weight. Um, and then as you roll in, um, give your 30 degrees a bank and then apply that power. Um, we don't really go full power, tend to use uh, about 23 inches works pretty well for my airframe again. Again, it's going to vary a little bit based on your particular power plant and airframe combination. Uh, but that 23 inches works pretty good to avoid getting to any kind of crazy pitch angles. Um, so kind of roll that power in, keep that for the 90 degree point, um, and then as you hit 90 degrees, start to roll back out, keep that pitch in. Um, and you're looking to complete that roll out at the 180 degree point, and then based on your power settings and the pitch pitch configuration, you should be uh, right above that stall stall airspeed, um, and then kind of as you hit that 180, uh, resume that straight level flight and try not to lose any altitude. So if we flip over and look at the data here, you can see the flight path. Um, you can see the what matches the video. We did a first one to the left, one to the right, and then one back to the left. And then this was just myself clearing out to the north um, to try a few other maneuvers. Um, if you look at the altitude, um, you can kind of see see the effects. Uh, so we started at 3,000 feet. Uh, we gained about 700 feet in that first, uh, first chandelle. Um, again, second one. This one we gained about 600, 650, um, and then as we went back the other direction, we gained 700 again. So pretty consistent there on the uh, the altitude gains because we were using kind of consistent power and configuration settings. Um, interesting if you look at the the vertical speed, you can kind of see how the the performance plays out in the maneuver. Um, and when you start, basically you've got a little airspeed that you you start to trade for altitude. So um, as we hit that 90 degree point, um, we actually peak at about 2,000 feet per minute climb rate. Um, and then as we bleed off that airspeed, um, you know, we don't have as much to trade off anymore. We're, we're kind of continuing to dwindle down to, to stall. Um, so you can see that vertical speed drop and you can see it consistent between the first one, second one, third one. Um, interesting view. You can also catch some of the things where um, I was a little bit lax in my pitch as I was leveling out. So you can see I've actually got a little bit of a altitude loss here where I'm below. Uh, I have negative uh, climb rate, basically relax the pitch too aggressively on the, the level out. Um, so you can kind of see that pretty easily um, here. One thing for me to work on when I go out next time. Um, and if you flip over the pitch, you can kind of see that behavior a little bit as well, where uh, you can see I, I dipped a little bit low and had this correct on the first one and the, the third one here, whereas the second one I, I was a little bit better around kind of slowly e eking that, that pitch out to keep that altitude. Um, roll rate, um, not a whole lot to see here. Pretty pretty basic maneuver in that regard. Uh, you can kind of see the, the roll in and then kind of the consistent roll out as you level off, you're kind of on a heading. Um, so you can kind of see the first one to the left, um, back to the right, and then back to the left. Um, so pretty, pretty basic there. Um, otherwise, if we flip to the, uh, the other interesting one um, in terms of standards and just getting the performance, um, airspeed. Um, so you can see here we, we started kind of at that 105 is pretty typical for that 17 inches in my aircraft. Um, airspeed kind of continually bleeding as you go through the maneuver coming down to that right above stall speed. So there I, if you remember on the video, I was right around 57, 58 right from the stall horn chirps. Uh, so you can see that on the, the right hand side. And then as you level off, you can see your airspeed start to recover back to your 105 right around that ballpark. Um, and again, you can see as we go kind of back to the right, um, air speeds down back to about that 57 again. Um, and then to the left, um, you can see they're uh, a little more aggressive, 50, 55 or so. Um, so right when we're finishing off, the stall horn chirps just a little bit. We could probably get it to chirp a little bit longer um, as we tidy up the pitch. I think the, the configuration, the settings are actually pretty close, um, but just a matter of uh, if you go back to the, the pitch view, uh, you can see I lose a little bit of pitch. I can be a little more consistent there as I start to roll out. I'm letting the nose drop a little bit. Um, and then uh, again, kind of on the tail end, letting it drop off a little bit there. So a little bit of work to do on the pitch, um, but all in all, uh, not too shabby. Um, things to tidy up, but I'm not doing too bad. Pretty flip over uh, to the, the track in Google Earth, just kind of a fun visualization of the, of the Chandelles. Um, you can kind of see that same flight track that we saw in two dimensions on the prior screen. And as you kind of step down, you can kind of get a better visualization of the uh, the climb rates that you see when you 
and you go through that maneuver, um, as well as just kind of a interesting little, you start to see a little bit of the altitude variations, kind of minor as you come out, but one to work on. Um, so again, just kind of a fun view, a little different. Um, nice to see it in three dimensions versus kind of trying to interpolate the, the video or the graphs. Um, so that's it. Um, that's kind of Shondell's in a nutshell stuff to work on, but not doing too bad. Um, next time we'll take a look at a, another one of the maneuvers in the ACS and keep chipping away. Otherwise, stay safe and keep your skills sharp. See you later.